Hey, hey! Welcome back to now episode 4 of our 7 part docu-series. Now, before we begin, let's jump into a little recap about last week's episode. Episode 3 was all about getting to see the student's vulnerability when talking about their identities. Additionally, we even saw how those identities impacted the way they've shown themselves to the world. As a result, due to those conversations around character causing an explosion of musical ideas, that's when we also got to learn how the theme around flowers started to develop. For this reason, episode 4 will be more focused on digging into the intuitive process behind this production. In elaboration, Philly Sound Exchange collaborators learned to use their social awareness and consciousness when being exposed to discuss the topics around bias and systemic racism, which also helped develop more themes to project in our soundtrack's messages. Sounds deep, right? Well, music needs profoundness from somewhere, and the change we're on our way to accomplishing also means taking a profound look inside ourselves. Therefore, let's take a peek inside another piece of our story. During our collaborative sessions, we usually split up into two groups and trade off between working on our music and discussing identity, equity, and social justice. We dug really deep into our own biases. Consequently, it led to some really important and well-needed self-discovery. I can see how some people would have that with race because they have that almost forced racism from the media demonstrating and showcasing improper stereotypes and ridiculous prejudices that get ingrained in our memory when they shouldn't be there. It manipulates us into believing them. Like we see all of that media and we immediately decide to choose fear rather than education. White picket fence, white night in the driveway, white girl, white life, everything's going my way. Ivory Tower, ignorance is bliss. We're taught not to associate and fall into the abyss. I've never been a person who thinks of backgrounds. Like, I see you and I don't think of, oh, this is what this person looks like. This is, must have been how they grew up because I don't know you. I think of, okay, let's see what she presents to me. Let's see what is in front of me. So for me, what came from my past of rapping, uh, for mentally, I've always been open to new things. I've been open to new people. So that is just something about me that will never change. nine times in my life and it was pretty stressful because I never felt like I truly fit in especially in the suburbs and I had to adapt to their lifestyle kind of and they expected me to be perfect to to be this like token black girl or whatever in the white suburbs I knew that I could write about that reading the meaning of the song when it was first introduced I was like okay this is a song that I can definitely write I won't have writer's block for that so I just took my chance and wrote something. We often think of racism as an outward expression and something related to how other people react to certain things, how everyone else, the outside world, reacts to a certain ethnicity, race, gender. It's interesting to think that we ourselves are race, can have a bias of race in, like, internally without us even really being aware of it. Well, that's the end of episode four. See you soon and make sure to keep a heads up for the release of our fabulous fifth episode. Goodbye. We so different but the same. I understand all the opinions like shackles on the wrist.